and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what are people asking about now? Well, the new scheduling modules come up quite a bit. Uh, how to set it up, how to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can talk about you know, some of the setup options. Sure. Uh, before we actually get into some of the setup um, things that you need to do before you can use a scheduling module, mm -hmm. um, let's just take a quick look at the whole scheduling module because it's quite a bit different than our old scheduling okay, module. Okay, sure. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to click on the scheduling icon and it's going to open up the new module and you see it looks quite a bit different than our old module. You'll open up into this Gantt chart of what you have scheduled with the jobs um, in the chart that you've got already got scheduled. You'll see your cost centers listed on the left hand side here and then at the bottom you'll see a list of the jobs that you have scheduled in the particular time frame that you're looking at. You'll see that the heading at the top here is the scheduled jobs within the date range and this is our Gantt view. The date range you can look at is in this little zoom box here. If you click on the drop down you can look at today, one, two, three weeks, a month out or you can even put a custom period with a begin and end date. So that's basically what the view looks like when you enter uh, scheduling. Uh, I'm just going to quickly come up here under the file menu and here's where you would go to schedule a job and then there's quite a, a bit of options here for uh, setup, setting up your calendars, your rules and options. Now here's where you would go to set up things like your options would be um, control the look and feel of the scheduling module. What mm -hmm. um, things display where, um, what colors will display, sure. um, that kind of thing. Okay. You, you know, what displays when you mouse over a job or you right, mouse right, over right. a cost center. Um, and then there's some rules you can set up for how things get scheduled, whether you schedule things from the start of the uh, job or from the due date, things like that. Mm -hmm. okay. And calendars is another thing you can get, uh, set up in this area. Okay. Uh, what are some of the things to be concerned with before we get into scheduling a job? Okay. Well, when you first get the new scheduling module, the very first thing you need to do is set up a calendar. You calendars. won't even be able to open the module until you have your calendar set up. Because okay. that's how you're telling uh, Enterprise, the new scheduling module, um, what cost centers are um, to schedule and when they can be scheduled okay. for. Okay? Right. So let's take a look at that. Okay, sure. Now to set up a calendar, I can either click on the calendar icon here or I can go up to the file men menu and choose calendars. Now I have a couple of calendars here already set up. I have my weekday calendar. Let me edit that one. In this calendar, on the left hand side here, I've told Enterprise what cost centers I want to include in this calendar. So you can see I, I've checked them. If you want all of them in a particular calendar, you can just click down here and select them all. And then on the right here, I have a few options. I can tell it whether I want to use a date range for this calendar or particular days of the week, which is what I'm doing here. And I've told it that I'm, this calendar is for Monday through Friday from 7 to 6. All right, I'm going to close that calendar. So that's an uptime calendar. I can also have a downtime calendar for example, for July 4th. If I edit that calendar, you'll see I've, I've checked off the option for downtime. So a downtime calendar would be mostly for things like your holiday schedules. So in this case, I've selected all of my cost centers because this is when the plant will be shut down. And I've put in a start date of July 4th to July 5th from midnight to midnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in that case is when I would use a date range. Okay. Now one other calendar I can take a look at is my weekday press calendar. If I edit that, in this case, I only have, as you can see, everything is unchecked except for the press cost centers. Because in this case, that calendar is going to be used because my pressmen work a double shift. So mm -hmm. in this case, they can, I can have that calendar set from 7 in the morning till 11 at night. Okay. Whereas the other calendar was only till 6 at night. Okay, so it is possible to have multiple calendars set up. Absolutely. You can certainly set up as many calendars as you want. The one mm -hmm. watch out you need to be careful of is you don't want to have a cost center in two calendars with conflicting times. Sure. You know, so if you have a cost center in one calendar that's from 7 to 6, and you also have another calendar that's from 7 to 11, mm -hmm. you've got a conflict, and that'll right. cause a problem. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what about any other rules or options or anything else that we should be setting up or keeping in mind before we schedule jobs? Sure. Um, one of the things you do need to do is under the options menu. Um, you can come in here and set, as I said before, you know, you can 
set a lot of the settings for how things view on the screen. This screen will let you set how it looks here when you're looking at a particular job, what displays here. You can look, uh, set what fields you look at when you mouse over a job, when you mouse over a cost center. Now here's a key one in the cost center options. Before you can get started with scheduling, you have to let the scheduling module know what cost centers you want to display here on the left hand side. When you first open up this module, that area is going to be completely blank. Mm -hmm. So when you first open up scheduling, you're going to see nothing on that left hand side. You, in addition to doing the calendars, you have to come in here and let Enterprise know what cost centers you want to see. Okay. Perfect. So uh, to do that, when you first open it up, they would all be on this side and all you would have to do is hit the display all and they'll move to this side. And then if you want to take some of them off, like in my case, I didn't want postage tracking to be displayed, you can just highlight. So say, I'll take an example, say we don't want plating to show up. If I highlight it and hit the arrow key, it'll come over this side and then it will no longer show up in the list when I save it. Okay. And if I put it back, it pops in the bottom here, but I can move it up and down. So the other thing you can do is control the order in which these are displayed in that list by just moving them up and down. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, do you have any other questions? No, I think that helps quite a bit. Okay. okay. Well, um, you know, we kind of covered how to um, set up and what's necessary to set up scheduling before you can use it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more we can show you on the new scheduling module. Sure, so sure. we'll look forward to more videos okay, on that. Next time. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, and thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costner. Please look forward to more to come.